Hello and welcome to another episode, or a new episode of LH, as I should say, here at Atlington train station. Uh, so I'm here um, today, um, just because I can. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on doing a monthly um, train spotting service. So this is trained at Adlington Manx. You'll be seeing services from Northern and Transpennine Express. So, um, and also we will see the 127 bus um, to Blackrod. Um, so, um, I hope that you enjoy the little mini film today and we shall see what shall turn up. The next two trains I think to arrive. So on this uh, platform it will be the 439 service to Manchester Airport. So on this platform two it will be the 1436 Northern service to Blackpool North. So in a minute, I have a just see. We are just going to put you around. The next train to arrive at Platform 1 is the 1439 Service 2 Manchester Airport. The service is currently on time. Calling out Blackrod, Porridge Pathway, Gloucester, Bolton, Salford Castle, Kingsgate, with our Oxford Road, Manchester Beach, Eldgreen, and Manchester Airport. <laughs> Dirty fifty one oh two five. Okay, so now the parking is the uh, 1439 over service to Manchester. Okay. So we're just going to see what over to. 
and at the rear is 331 and the rear is A85. Now coming over this bridge, anytime soon, will be the 127 service to Blackford. And then it looks like the very last platform too should be the delay now 1436 Northern service to Blackpool North. So if you flick this around, uh, the delay is now Northern Service to Blackwood North is now arriving. We're going to be six. I think we need to see if what's the sound is there or I won't look at my camera and it may be there. Right then, so now the party is Z. Oh, when the car goes in. But now the party is the Northern Service Blackpool North. Thank you, one of six. So at front, and at the rear will be a 3 3 one with a broken display board. And as that goes round the bend, we will see what he'll turn up next. So in a couple of minutes, uh, the trans Express first service to Edinburgh from Manchester Airport will first be passing through. No, that's just the family work. Cam can we? What's the can we? Camera work? Um, my hands are just very chilly at the moment. So this um, train station is um, quite um, unique for me. Because um, I follow G Love Trains, 
and she did a for the northwest by um train and everyone got confused on episode one where she went to Chorley and then on episode two she didn't go to Edmonton. But then in her finale what what she says is that um they um they she wanted to do a circle. So the also the one to seven furthest was um delayed by a couple of minutes. Uh, I think it's just due to because there's only one for six of it. It could just be due to um well um I mean either um delay traffic because it's Christmas holidays or just driving. Right, so passing through now. of the Transfer Express Service to Edinburgh. Could do some research on real time trains to find out what um to find out what that service was. And there's the one two seven at uh, Brandage one two five. Whew that shocked me. Right. Uh, I'll do some research about that train. I have no idea what it was. But alright. So that so that like that to service there was um, the fourteen twenty five service um from here uh, not from here, from Preston to Manchester Airport. Uh it on real time train that doesn't say what number it is, but it's either a uh, it's either a class one nine five or a three three one single pair. But <coughs> Thanks, driver, for that. Didn't cause any turbulence, which is good. So what about doing the about stay for the 1539 and the 1536 as well? Make it a whole round trip. I've seen an hour's worth of services. So, I'm very happy with that. So, I will see you at 15.09 when another service rooms through. So, there isn't any eggs trying to put you on anything, but I just wanted to chat about um, basically what my plans are for the future. So, as you know, I am um, starting to be a bus enthusiast. I'm already a train enthusiast. I love trains. Um, so I said in the in my what's it called now community um, community tab that I am doing series of buses and more talking buses or I I've started that series but I am doing a collab with buses and more uh, some point this week and uh, and then this week I mean uh, the. Uh, probably when the rail strikes run, so that would be 24th to the 27th of December 2022. Uh, nearly a year of Joe the Chatter. I've had a really bumpy roller coaster to be honest. Um, 51 subscribers from now, so thanks for that 51 subscribers. I am, ex um, I am doing talking buses with um, buses and more. And then I am starting in January, uh, every other week series, I mean it, of talking trains. So this will be for uh, train flight series, uh, train flight series is like this. Tracking down um, 390 uh, 
had all of those special trains. But I'll start also um, talking about fleet updates. And um, actually, inspecting the railway magazine, which I um, hope to get a new little subscription. I did um, try. I did try and get. Um, I did try to get some. Um, I did try and get. Um, I did try and record talking trains this year, but I've just been really busy. So my New Year's resolution for you guys, as well as my family, is to upload kind of regularly, but not too regularly. Is that I'm just taking YouTube over instead of a family? Have we always spent time with family? Um, but. I also just want to say massive shout out to Butter and More, massive shout out to CB Roblox and also probably massive shout out to all of my friendly, I mean friendly, subscribers because you all are, are really nice. It, me personally as someone who's got disabilities, rare disabilities as well, it's actually pretty darn good that I've got nice people because sometimes I do have cases where people don't really like me and I know I sound like an absolute um, silly person here but Francis Bourgeois um, he really he's extended my train passion even more and um, he um, um, I watch his um, Channel 4 series on YouTube every single week when a new uploads come out. So he's a really good inspiration to me. And I'm not a religious person, but I do know that the Ten Commandments, it does say, do not worship any other idols. But no, I'm going to have to worship. Francis Bourgeois. He's just a very, very, very kind person. So, um, if you are enjoying this series and you do want to see more of this monthly series, this new monthly series, and I'm starting in December, and I'm probably going to do one in January. So, I, uh, so then. I could do it any time in the month. So I'm doing it, I'm going to do it any time in the month. So it could be the 1st of February. And then I, I could do it the 1st of every month twice. And then I could mix it up and do, uh, say, um, one episode on the 31st of June. Then another on the 1st of July, or uh, uh, the end of June. I can do one on the 1st of July. So, um, I know that seems like I'm rambling on a bit, but I'm not. I love trains. I like buses, or I love them. Um, so, uh, comment down below um, what you like. And then, uh, I will be also doing a series where you all can get involved in as well. So, um, I've said in this video that it's going to be about 5 10 minutes. No, it's going to be about 20, I think now. So, if um, you like the video, please like, subscribe, share. I would like to get to 100 subscribers by 2020, by the end of 2023. Because I've smashed the goal, um, I've smashed the goal one year in, so let's smash it another year in. So, if you can improve it up to 50, up to 100, that would be brilliant. If you can't, don't worry, I'm not like going to cry in my bedroom or something. But, um, if you would like to see more... Again, comment down below. Tell me which dating matches go to, because I'm fed up with doing 
just I believe him. Right, uh, yeah, I can walk. Down here. But uh, it's not got much traffic. It's only got about what five turns an hour. So what I might do is next term is I might go up to Bolton, I might go up to um Preston. I might go I might even go up to Carlisle. Or whatever. So um, I'm going to so we're going to wait for the 1509 service to pass through. So I'll see you then. So the next train to pass by now will be the uh, 1509 Northern service to Manchester Airport. Um, so I did this, I think it was an ECS service um, that wasn't tracked on real time trains to um, it would have been uh, uh, Keston Hall Sidings or Blackpool. Uh, it won't, it's not a real time train, so I'm just guessing. So let's go to Room 2 will be the uh, 1509 Melbourne service here at Manchester Airport. And then I think that'll be it. So we got over um, through the 1530, not 16, what am I on about? And then after we see those details, then we can go change. So someone up there is handy for the phone, how are we? Wonderful. It is and he here and everything. We just need some experts as well to get some of that in our place. Because uh, me as a um, as a visually impaired person I can struggle. And when I do announcements I really do struggle. Which to me isn't fair. So all I need oh get Rachel to generate some please don't go away from the edge of platform one and two. Let's turn to that spot here. Just keep someone all the time in that ticket office. And then we can say she can announce them. Oh, uh, in that direction. Everything's <laughs> everything's not letting me speak. It's gonna be coming any moment. No? Any moment around the bend. Come on, classes you on the front, you were better than the paces. Not slow. Yours are an express service. Not very express like. <laughs>
Two times I really do miss the posters. Because they're just funny stuff. I know, I remember it was 142022, and I was about seven at the time, I think. And uh, the driver let me in the cab. Still a really unforgettable memory. Let me turn on the engine and everything. And then another because it was a really nice memory stuff is Matt. So I did make I did record and make a vlog all about York. My experience is York. Um, I lost it. Can't do anything on mobile it all loses and everything. So I lost it and Matt was really nice. And then I've got another memory when I was at coming home from gymnastics and the guard at Halifi was uh, oh now I passed through Fifi one O three one and Fifi was O two three so we do fifty O nine so we show them to um to Manchester Airport. Um so yeah, let me tell you about my experience again. So I was at it, so I was standing by the um, train train manager thing. It was on a class one five five uh, one five three even. Uh, we were on the um, this was before the 150 dash, uh, dash zero, um, came out. So we were, um, so I was just standing around there, um, and he asked me, um, do you want to control the train doors? And I was like, go on then. So at the, I think I was about 10. Um, but it was a really cool experience because, like, I got to uh, flick the local door. And everything, because it was a class 153, so it was a sprinter at the time, I think it was called. Um, so, basically, what uh, had to happen really was um, that I um, I rang the bell to the conductor, uh, to the driver as well. So it was all really quite fun and really funky. So, um, I've only had one two tone today, but that's fine. But let's just hope I get something good uh, on the two stop assumptions and then I will end the video. Also, I'd love to point out this lovely display over here. I don't think you can't see anything. But, yeah, so you've got a model train, very curious. Then it's got loads of pictures of the train. And also, a really nice thing is look at that heritage railway sign. Yeah. So, that heritage railway sign, uh, it's all really good. So, anyway. Let's see what other class three three was and stuff shall turn up. So both of these services are um, delayed by about five minutes. I don't know why. <laughs> Real time series doesn't want to show me why. But basically, so real time uh, so apparently let's have a look at the stock matrix display. So it says here, expected to arrive 15.40. Four minutes delay time. So, basically, what then that means is now that that's going to cause disruption for everything else. Because we've got the express notices that need to pass through. No. Um, Everything's just going to be a bit manic now. That's alright though. Um, but what my plans are as well 
is when I can, I'm going to try my hardest to get the eligibility to reach um, there's a tractor, uh, the eligibility for me uh, to go live just through YouTube so I don't have to use any dodgy kind of apps and I can do a live train that. But at busy stations like busy stations like Preston for example, crew, because it, it has Preston and crew have at least one train or Preston have, do have at least one train a uh, kind of one train kind of at the station at a time so I might do Preston or I, I, or I might be wild and go to like London or Birmingham or something like that but we'll see that but when I'm a bit bigger um, and that or even like um, Acton that has a main line because this is um, the Adlington, uh, the Layla, uh, no, the Bookshaw to Leyland, uh, the Bookshaw to Bolton, even James branch line. So, Bookshaw to Bolton branch line, not Leyland, or not Bookshaw to Leyland, so that wouldn't even make sense. But anyway, anyhow, even. Um, I will update you on the delay and uh, if I have to end it, I will, which is sad, but, um, anyhow, I will see you when I'm either warm or when I'm safe for him. Goodbye, guys. Next train to now arrive at platform um, 2 is a severely delayed northern service. Blackpool North. Um, it's delayed by about four minutes. Um, and then we've got the Northern Service to Manchester Airport, which is about delayed by about six minutes. Um, but hey ho, it's Christmas shopping, over five months might happen. So everything's going to be alright. I think, but yeah, now we are just going to wait and wait, because that's what you do when you get with, with trains, you just wait. I think this service, yeah, this service is a uh, uh, here. We can make a very quick pit stop. Uh, I call it so when trade is late to make a pit stop. What are you doing, child? I might um, I might um, I might go to Leyland instead where it's busy got stopper services it's got it's got a variety of services got phone trains because that's the only thing oh no this uh, uh, I did actually hold down and there's a ghost Actually, it comes through at about 
big guy. Um, because the thing about midnight is, and it goes, uh, and it goes to Manchester. Um, yeah, it goes uh, to Trafford uh, from Moth End. I think it was. Um, But it had to go through. Uh, it has to go through here for the uh, night dive through. So, so, so there's one coming uh, to go towards Manchester, and I think that's on the 66298. And then the one, uh, uh, and then there's one coming from Manchester, which I think is for us. Yeah, which is for six six two nine eight again. Lights. <laughs> The and then we will see what trailing behind it in a moment. So that's parting is the uh, 15, uh, uh, delayed 1539 further to uh, back to north. Who if you want to blow to with the front of this train? We did it. Now, in a minute, 
it should be the uh, delay 0939 Northern service to Manchester Airport. I'm just going to pull up the top for all. It's a very, very dirty. And then, see if he was oh, he was. Okay, so that's why I think it's easy to wait for my great line, Northern Service, to Manchester Airport. Uh, is that leading the proceedings? Two one or oh, two seven. Uh, trailing behind. So um, thank you, everybody, for watching this video. And um, that is it. Um, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in. In a world at another train station, or maybe the same train station, who knows? But now I'm getting a bit cold. Right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you all later. Goodbye for now. See you at Talking Food.